Hello all and welcome to the next video here on the rooftop two-headed cow caravan of treasure and sometimes barter. Also, this is a kind of a new jump on point for a series that has now been retroactively activated, I guess you could say, uh, that I am calling um, Be Kind Retro Rewind. Um, yeah, you like that? Took me a minute to come up with that name. But uh, if you watch my first big LJN unboxing, I was talking about how, like, I kind of wanted to turn that into a series. Um, and I decided just to kind of go with, like, if I ever open anything retro, like vintage, um, or it's vintage related, kind of like the Ghostbusters stuff that Walmart had, um, like the Ghostbusters figures, the um, Fearsome Flush, all that stuff, um, the Ecto-1, if it's, like retro but it came back kind of uh for like a re-release or something i'll put it in there too but yeah it's gonna be the retro rewind um you know be kind retro rewind um kind of an old play off of uh, be kind please rewind um but that's kind of where i'm going with this dog's barking again she's on a roll today um so yeah i went back and i basically retroactively added the numbers up for episodes. I titled old retro figure stuff. I retitled them, put an episode number next to them. And here we are. So I guess this is the first introduction to the Be Kind Retro Rewind series. But at the same time, it's going to be, it's not going to be the number one episode. Oh, that's a motorcycle. You hear that? Fancy. Isn't he fancy? neighbor got a motorcycle he's working on been sitting out there watching him try to do it like all day um anyway uh be kind retro rewind this isn't episode number one it's gonna like i said i went back and retroactively numbered the retro stuff on my channel so this is going to be just an episode in the middle of it but technically it's the first time you're getting to see me use the title and everything in an actual video um so yeah Inside this random ass target box should be um, that second batch of LJN figures I was talking about. Um, and then that's kind of be kind of the conclusion of that first set of LJNs I bought. These ones I got on eBay. Um, this guy had them. They looked like they were in really good shape. I sent him a message. I was like, hey, if I get you know these multiples, can I save on some shipping? He said, absolutely. And worked it out. So there you go. Um but I'm pretty sure that's what's in here. If it's wrong, then it's another box over there that looks all beat up and tattered. Uh, and if I'm wrong, then oops, it looks like you're never going to see this. And I'm going to restart a video without you knowing. Uh, that's just the way that's going to work. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this open. Um, welcome to the new series. Be Kind Retro Rewind. Um, Please be the LJNs. I don't want to restart this. Not again. This is the LJNs. Okay, okay, cool. That's just making sure. Because there, there was a couple of boxes, and one of them, I don't know what it is, but it was like, oh, that's pretty messed up. Uh, so here we go. These ones do not appear to be individ uh, individually sandwich bagged like the guy who sent me the other ones. But they are separated by paper, so, I mean, I'm cool with that. And right out the gate, you can tell the first one we got here is a really pretty good looking... Hogan? I mean, he looks fantastic. He's got a little bit of a thing on the knee pad there. But besides that, like, this Hogan looks excellent. Little bit of hair loss missing, but let's just be honest here. This is a generous amount of hair for Hogan to begin with. <laughs> I said it. Um, yeah, it stands well. Looks good. Look, I'm not the biggest Hogan fan. I've talked about it before. I don't really like the guy. He just comes off kind of smug. and um, That's just a lot of Hogan not to like. Uh, let me just put it that way. I've never been a big Hogan fan. Um when I think about retro wrestlers, and some of that too is my own bias of, he wasn't the first older, like, rock and wrestling era wrestler that I saw and really kind of liked. Um, weirdly enough, that was actually Randy Savage. 
Uh, I remember being a kid and I would go back and watch old WrestleManias. And one of the first old WrestleManias as a kid I remember watching was WrestleMania 4. Um, I found it was two VHS tapes in a box at a uh, Blockbuster when we still had Blockbuster in the early 2000s. Um, and I got it and it had Hogan and Andre on the cover because that was their rematch from WrestleMania 3. Um, they were like wrestling in the semifinal or the quarterfinal round or something. Um, and Randy Savage wins that tournament for the WWF championship against Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man. And I liked Randy Savage from that moment. So very weirdly, I became a big Randy Savage fan and by proxy kind of learned to hate Hogan because I know Randy Savage didn't like him for most of his life. Um, but Nonetheless, I do not deny Hogan's place in wrestling history. He is undoubtedly one of the biggest stars of all time. You know, probably top three, top five. So maybe, I know some people argue the biggest, um, but it's up there. Um, and, of course, his LJ, I gotta admit, this LJN looks awesome. It looks great. Hogan is just a very charismatic, toyetic person. Um, and there you go. But, that being said, I'm not the biggest Hogan fan. So, uh, I am going to try to find a belt to give him. Because I know this one, I believe, came with the belt, right? Um, so I am looking for a LJN belt. I had those tag belts that came with the Bulldogs, but I want the world title. So, And it, I will put it on the Hogan because it just it feels like that LJN needs that belt. But man, this is in like really great shape. This is amazing, and it looks great too. The headband looks damn near flawless. It's got a chip there, but like that's one of the best headbands I've seen on one of these. Nice. I like it. Who did he get packed with? Here's the second figure that was like next to Hogan. I believe there's four or five in here. Whoa. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. We have the Series 1 Andre with the Afro. Uh, funny enough, there is another Andre with short hair. Same exact figure. He just has short hair. Um... This is the one with the afro, the, his his fro. A little bit of paint loss up there on top. Nothing too bad, though. Everything else looks like it's in pretty good shape. Boots are a little scuffed, and then it looks like he's got a little bit of butt cheek going on here. But uh, besides that, as a display piece, I think he'll be good for now, um, even if he's just a placeholder for a while. Surprisingly, kind of a harder one I've noticed to look for, or at least becoming harder to look for. Um, but he looks great here. I really like it. Um... Yeah, I, I feel like there's this misconception about Andre where most people who think of the rock and wrestling era automatically go to WrestleMania 3 like oh, he was a heel and he faced Hogan. Um, people kind of forget like in that early part of the 80s, like mo a good chunk of the early 80s, he's a face. He's going into New York as this big draw and attraction as a face and he's wrestling Big John Studd, you know, because J J um, Studd was kind of the, the original giant of the WWF and then here comes Andre and he's even bigger. Um, you know, he turned heel much later. Um, so yeah, around the time series one would have been made, which is like what, 84, 85, somewhere around there. He's still a face, you know, he hasn't made that turn yet. Um, so there you go. That is why he's kind of more like this. Nice. I like it. I love that, like, it's, like, you know, kind of in scale. Not exactly, like, try not to knock the box over here. Like, he's a little bit bigger than Hogan, um, but pro I don't know. Like, it's weird that it's, like, kind of in scale. Um, like, the Captain Lou's really short. Like, I noticed that. Um, okay. Okay, I think that's it. There's only four in here, I think. Am I right about that? Yeah, okay. I gotta go check my email, my email, ooh, oh, eBay, um, like, order. I know one of the ones that's in, and here it is, right here. Um, uh, this is actually the one that I saw on the guys, um, on the eBay, like, when I was going, scrolling down the page. This is the one I saw that actually made me click on his page, because I wanted it. And I was like, well, let me see if he has anything else. And it's a, uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks like there's some paint fading right on the crotch. 
Um, and he's got a little paint scuff there, a little bit of ass meat here, but nothing too major. And then one little ding, uh, one little chip up there on the hair, but he looks pretty good. Um, uh, he stands too. Wow. I'm having better luck with these. That first batch I got, some of them stood really well. Some of them didn't. So far we're three for three on the ones that stand here. Um, yeah, Greg the Hammer. Um, I know there's a lot of people who think Greg the Hammer was kind of boring and everything. I like Greg Valentine. I think he was like a great worker. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit lacking in the personality department. But again, another one of those guys who plays like a big role in the early 80s going into the 80s with uh, WWF. You know, former Intercontinental Champion and all that. Feuding with uh, Tito Santana. Um, good stuff. I like it. And last one. Uh, looks like, what did we get? I'm trying to remember. Ah, yes, there we go. This one looks like it's in the roughest shape of the bunch. So this one definitely might end up just being a placeholder for a while. Um, but we got Iron Sheik. I'm not gonna lie, the camera actually does him more justice. Uh, but up close and in person, uh... He's got some scuff in there. He's got it on the sides. Got some on the back. Definitely on his boots. He he's in some rough shape. Um, on one eyebrow almost missing. Um, but he had it. I figured you know, and it was really cheap. Uh, it's not like I paid a lot for this Iron Sheik in the bundle. Um, and you know, I just I went ahead and asked him to throw that one in there. I went ahead and bought it. He threw it in there for me. Um, uh, he does not stand. He is very front heavy. Yeah, Sheik, he's not standing here. Um, <laughs> I love Iron Sheik. He's a character, man. That's the most I can say. He is just a character. Um, if you haven't seen the Sheik documentary, watch it. It's a fascinating wrestling documentary. Um, it's got some tough moments in it. Some sad, cringy-ass moments. Um, but I think it's well worth the watch. Um, like I said, this figure's a little beat. It looks like he's even got a couple of puncture holes in here. Um, so definitely probably a placeholder as opposed to a permanent fix, but, uh, eh, it is what it is. It's fine with me for now. I'll take it. The other three were really good though. Um, anyways, there we go. We got Sheik. Let me grab the other ones. We got Greg the Hammer. If you're an OSW fan, Greg the Gas Tank. Uh, we got a really good Hogan and we got a solid Andre. So there you go. There's our three for or our four for this video. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for now, that's all the LJNs I ordered. Um, I got a couple more I'm watching. Their bids, I, I got a couple I'm bidding on that I'm like, I'm going to go for. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, I'm waiting to snipe them uh, if I can. But those don't end for a few more days. So who knows if I end up getting them or not. Uh, but I got a list made. Um, I had a list going into this. Like, here's all the guys I want. I won't be getting everybody. There's a lot of guys I just don't plan on getting. Uh, Outback Jack. I just, I don't see myself going out of my way to get an Outback Jack LJN. Um, but I do have quite a few more I do want to get. And I checked all these off my list. Uh, all the ones I originally got, I checked off for now. And so I'm just going to slowly work my way through that list. Uh, if I can find, like, cool bundles again, like I did with these, or somebody selling multiples that will give me a discount, that'd be great. If not, then, you know, it's going to be a slow grind to building up the collection. Uh, but either way, I'm really excited to see where this collection takes me. Um, like I said, this is kind of the first part of it. The, or the second part of the first part, I guess you could say. Because uh, I got these at the same time, but they came in a couple days later. Um, but thank you. Um for beginning the journey of the LJNs with me again and continuing on with this video. Uh, if you like it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You do not have to if you do not want to, but I always appreciate anybody who does. So, uh, yeah, this has been the first episode of Be Kind Retro Rewind. Um, uh, well, the first retroactive episode. The first episode I've ever mentioned it, uh, but it'll be episode number whatever the hell because I retroactively renumbered the episodes. <laughs> I'm like Marvel Comics. I'm just going to renumber stuff now. Um, but yeah, thank you. And I will catch you guys in the next video.